Hi, I'm Chef Amber, and today we're gonna to make a watermelon salad. So it's summer, it's July 4th. This is a really, really fast recipe to make. A nice salad to take to a barbecue if you're in a pinch for something to make for July 4th. So this watermelon salad is one of my favorites. I've got one small organic little uh, red seedless watermelon here, and I'm just gonna cut it in half and then cut the skin off on the side. Now, I love watermelon, and when I first started making this um, years ago, it became probably the most requested thing that I take to barbecues now, not even July 4th. So, it's watermelon, it's gonna have some Castle Vetrano olives, radish and mint, and then you can also add a little bit of um, feta or almond milk ricotta. All right, so once I have the peel off, I'm just gonna do nice little slices here. And this can be really rustic, not perfect slices. You can just kind of cut them into nice little chunks like this. I love the saltiness and the sweetness of this. It's so great. Because also for a summer barbecue, it's always hard for me when I go because stuff loses its integrity. It's like, what can I take? That's not gonna get soggy. This will last all day. This is also really great paired with any protein if you're roasting any meat or grilling any meat really great with um, grilled veggies, so it's delicious. And I love all the benefits of watermelon. Watermelon's super hydrating, especially in the summer when it's really, really hot, that it just helps add some electrolytes to our body, so it's amazing. All right, and, all right, so I'm just gonna use about three-fourths of this watermelon because I've got a little bit of a bigger piece than I wanted. And this recipe, I'm making the whole thing from start to finish with you right now. It's literally gonna take under 10 minutes. And when you show up with this, it's so beautiful. All right, a couple more slices. Now, I've also subbed cantaloupe for this, but I really prefer the watermelon. You can also use yellow water, watermelon and uh, red watermelon. It makes it really fun and colorful. And because today is July 4th and I did not know what to take because I've been slammed, I was like, oh my God, my watermelon salad. And people get really, really excited. All right, so I've got my watermelon. Then I'm just gonna take my radishes here and I'm just gonna kind of quarter the radish like this and just kind of toss it on top. There's not any salad dressing on this salad. There's not any oil. There's not any salt. So the saltiness is gonna come from the olives and it's got a nice contrast from the bitterness from the radish and then the sweetness from the watermelon and the mint and then we're going to add just like a little bit of black pepper now i like to take when i'm going to a barbecue i like to take a big bowl of some sheep's milk feta because some people want cheese on it and instead of putting it on top you can put it on top if you know everyone wants the dairy but I usually put a nice big bowl of feta cheese on the side, and even, you could do two things. You could do a bowl of feta on the side, and you could do a, full, a bowl of like almond ricotta or almond cheese, and then people can sprinkle as they want if they want to add that extra kind of um, saltiness to it, which is really delicious. All right, that's good on the radish. Okay, so far we're looking good. Look at this, okay. Now I'm gonna use some already pitted Castle Vetrano olives just from the olive bar. And you can use a combination of olives. You can use any sort of black or green. I love Castle Vetranos. I think they're the sex sexiest olive in the world. They're from Italy. If you've never had one, go out and try one today. They're sweet and buttery and very creamy. And I find for a non-olive eater that these are a good, easy sell. Sometimes black olives get a bad rep or the green ones uh, like the little pimento olives. So these are kind of an, a win-win all over. All right, oh, I don't have my towel. So then I'm just gonna take a handful of mint and I'm not really measuring. I would say so far I've got a handful of mint one small seedless red watermelon. I've got two bunches of uh, radishes, and then I've got about a cup of olives, and that's it. That is all you need. I mean, so simple, and I just kind of toss the mint throughout the salad and put a couple of the pieces on top for garnish. And then one thing I like to do is I like to take some fresh cracked black pepper and just sprinkle it on top 
because it will kind of like melt into the watermelon, a little spicy sweet, but not too spicy. And if I had some cheese, which I don't because I'm not taking um, cheese to this group today, that um, I would put cheese on it. But I just want to show you how gorgeous this salad is. So this is our summer watermelon salad with radish, Castle Vetrano olives, and mint. I'm super, super inspired and excited to share these healthy recipes with you. Um, I'm really inspired, if you don't already know me and you haven't been following me, that I get to help make a difference in people's lives through food one meal at a time. Sexy is the new healthy. Like, this is a sexy salad, right? But it's nourishing and fueling our bodies. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow along with me on my health journey. It's constant, it's never ending for me. And I'm gonna be sharing basically all my views around health and my journey from adrenal fatigue to uh, self-love and body image stuff to my past sugar addiction to some spiritual stuff to biohacking tips. And you can also reach out to me. Let me know what you guys wanna talk about. What do you wanna hear? What do you wanna cook? So super jazzed up. If you're not already following me on Instagram, I'm Chef Amber LA. And if you were looking for more healthy recipes and sexy recipes, I should say, right? If you're looking for more sexy recipes and fun tips and tools for healthy living, you can jump on over to chefamber.com. Have a great 4th of July and see you next time. Ciao, ciao.